This is a review of the California Performance Company Vegan Whey Protein. They have three flavors, chocolate, brownie, um, vanilla, and then mixed berry. I got the mixed berry, and this is the product I will be reviewing. I got this was because it was the only thing on the market that used Perfect Day Whey, which is in Berkeley, California. They make whey protein um, pretty much in a fermenting tank with bacteria that has been genetically modified to be able to produce these um, whey proteins. So they get the, they get the, they pump out the whey proteins. They don't sell them directly to the consumer. They, um, you know, brands and companies will buy it from them, put it in their products like ice cream and whatnot and brand it as like vegan, you know, vegan ice cream, vegan whey or vegan ice cream or vegan cheese, whatever. So, um, one of them, California Performance Company, uh, has made a vegan whey protein. So, um, I thought this was great. A great idea, right? Vegan whey protein. Um, but to get the extent of how many, how much fillers and stuff is in this, um, their scoop is 30 grams and there's 20 grams protein in it. So that's about 66% or two thirds protein. That's kind of a low amount for a protein powder. I got three packages because you have to buy it directly from them on their website. Um, they ship it out of, I believe it's Wisconsin. It's somewhere in the Midwest. Uh, it takes a while to get here. It took, I believe, two weeks to get to California. So, you know, California Performance Go, and then they go ship it from the Midwest. So it's a little, um, the logistics don't seem to be, they seem to be branding themselves as something they are not. Um, but nonetheless, I got three packs of these. And I believe they were one or two pounds each. But I got three of them because if you get three, you get free shipping. Um, and it ends up being a little cheaper. So, like, alrighty, I'll get three. And the first thing I noticed, um, or the first time I took it, the first thing I noticed, maybe an hour later, was a little bit of a scratchy throat. Um, and I noticed that consecutive times. Um... But something else I'm kind of noticing is getting bloat. And that's where I believe the ingredients are kind of the problem. Um, so if we look at the ingredients, it's going to be that vegan or you know the non-animal whey protein, the first ingredient. Great, that comes from Perfect Day. Um, the second ingredient, natural flavors. So this is kind of like the food industry uh, workaround. Okay, that's the second ingredient. So there must be a lot of it. <laughs> um, then we got your, uh, I don't really know how to say this, urethral. Uh, that's a pretty much a calorie-free sweetener, or at least a sugar-free sweetener. Maybe there's a little bit of a polysaccharide or whatnot, but okay, we got one sweetener right there. We got citric acid and malic acid. From the taste of it, I could tell this is supposed to mimic like the berry um, tanginess, I guess. So um, if you've ever had like Pop, Rock, uh, Pop Rocks, I think that's what it's called, or like Warheads or stuff like that, they have the same kind of, it's kind of just like a cheap candy flavor. Then you got the xanthan gum. Now, this stuff is like a filler. It's supposed to, um, it's or it's I guess a little bit of like a binding agent. So it's gonna like 
uh, it's going to give the protein shake a little bit of a texture. Um, nice, little, it, it'll just thicken it up a little bit. Now, xanthan gum, you don't need much. I've, I've used this, I've bought this, um, and put this in, I don't know, stuff I was making. Um, and when you over, you put a little too much in it, it gets really thick. Um, so like, you know, you try to make like some ice cream or like some yogurt from like stuff that's a little too runny. Um, that's just, xanthan gum is great to like add a little bit. Um, the problem is, is I've noticed that it will definitely feed some intestinal bacteria. Um, AKA it'll blow you up. So this is something I don't really like in here. And I think most people who are going out of their way to get a vegan whey protein don't really care about the texture of the protein, uh, the way it tastes. Um, they're just doing it for ethical reasons, whether that's the environment or, um, what do you call it? Like animal welfare. So I really don't think you need all these ingredients. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll continue with the ingredient list though. We got beet juice concentrate. So this is supposed to be a coloring agent. Um, and yeah, if as you guys can see, it's looking pink when you mix it up. And I guess that'd be just be like a berry look to it. So already we got the stevia, uh, the stevia leaf extract and then the monk fruit extract. Both of these, again, are non-calorie sweeteners. Um, I don't think, most people don't really, I mean, I personally don't like uh, these like non-calorie sweeteners because they taste a little off and you like it always gives me uh, bloat. So I'd rather have the sugar and have my body be able to digest it instead of having these things just left in the gut waiting for bacteria to break it down and make me all gassy so yeah the ingredient list i don't know i wish they could just put they could just package that first ingredient that non-animal whey protein um they could do that I think they'd be able to, and maybe if they decrease their price, their marketing's pretty good. Um, I would say they are able to, they, they got the marketing down. Um, I was getting ads on Google and whatnot, like about this. So I think they got that down, but they need to like, maybe lower the price a little bit. So um, people can, are willing to try it and then just avoid and then just have a unflavored product um it's pretty like i don't know why you would want all these ingredients extra ingredients that kind of take away from um choosing a vegan whey protein so that's gonna cap it um Hopefully this helps the company. And if you're deciding uh, whether you want to try it and you're looking for reviews, hopefully this is, um, you kind of know what to expect.